This is part 41 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss some of the useful methods and events provided by the Bootstrap model plugin. In our previous video, we have used the data dash attributes to show and hide the model. When we click the login button, that's when the login model shows up. To make that happen, on the login button, notice we are using two data dash attributes, data dash toggle and data dash target. When we click the close button, that's when the model is closed. And to make that happen, on the close button, we're using data dash dismiss attribute. We can also manually show and hide the model. To manually show and hide the model, use the methods provided by the Bootstrap model plugin. To show the model, use model show method. To hide the model, use model hide. Let's look at these two methods in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. The first thing that I'm going to do here is remove these two data dash attributes. Let's save our changes, reload this page, and at this point when we click the login button, notice the login model is not launched. Let's see how to manually launch it using model show method. Let's give this login button an ID. Let's call it btn show model. Let's scroll all the way down and within our jQuery ready function, let's find that button using the jQuery ID selector which is hash and on this, let's wire up the click event handler. So when we click this button, that's when we want to show the login model. Login model div also has got an ID and the ID of that div is login model. So let's copy that. And within the click event handler, let's use the jQuery ID selector again, find the login model. And then on that, let's call the model function and pass it a value of show. Let's see our changes reload this page and at this point when we click the login button notice the login model is launched and at the moment we are still using data dash dismiss attribute with a close button so when we click close the model is dismissed let's remove this data dash dismiss attribute let's see our changes reload this page and at this point when we click close button, look at that, the model is not closed. Let's see how to manually close it using model hide method. First, let's make a copy of this code. And let's give this close button an ID. Let's call this btn hide model. We want to wire up click even handler to this button. So let's change the ID here. When we click the close button, that's when we want to close the model. So to this model function, I'm going to pass hide. Let's save our changes. Reload this page and click login button. The model is launched. Click close button. The model is closed. Now let's look at the events. Show.bs.model. This event is fired immediately after model show method is called shown.bs.model this event is fired after the model is made completely visible to the user hide.bs.model fired immediately after model hide method is called hidden.bs.model fired after the model is completely hidden from the user let's handle all these events let's flip to visual studio let's use the jquery id selector find the login model and let's use the jquery on function and handle show dot bs dot model event this event is raised immediately after show method is called let's alert a message the message is going to be model is about to be displayed let's make a copy of this event handler let's also handle shown dot bs dot model this event is raised after the model is made completely visible to the user. So model is displayed is going to be the message. Let's make a copy of these two event handlers and let's handle hide.bs.model. This event is raised immediately after model hide method is called. So the message here is going to be model is about to be hidden. And let's also handle hidden.bs.model. This event is raised after the model is made completely hidden from the user. So the message is going to be model is hidden. 
let's save our changes reload this page and look at this when we click the login button even before the login model appears we have this message model is about to be displayed when we click OK we have the login model and then when the login model is made completely visible to the user we have this message model is displayed let's click OK now when we click the close button notice first we get the message model is about to be hidden when we click OK the model closes and then we get the message model is hidden thank you for listening and have a great day